Hey everybody, it's me, Stephanie, and I have a makeup and beauty haul that I want to share with you all. My daughter's taking me out today, so I'm waiting on her. So in the meantime, while we're sitting here waiting, I want to share this new makeup with you all that I've bought. The first thing that I was super, super excited about to find, now I'm going to try to keep these things separated. The first things I'm going to share with you came from Walmart. This is like a makeup and beauty haul. I consider this like a beauty item. I got this choker necklace and it was $3.94. I posted a picture of it on my Instagram. It's really pretty. It's cloth roses and then there's little rhinestones on each rose. So it's a really good price. So my husband got that for me and I'm not wearing these with this necklace but you could I guess but I thought these were really pretty and I have a necklace similar to this color with flowers on it that I know will match. Walmart has some beautiful costume jewelry, very affordable. You see this was $2.88 and this was, you know, $4.00. So if you're not buying your costume jewelry at Walmart, I say in a lot of my videos, go check them out because they really have some pretty things. Now everything else is like makeup beauty. Um, Something that I wanted when I saw it posted on Instagram and I'm, I'm behind the game because after I picked it up I watched people's videos where it came out in March I'm assuming but it's this hard candy matte eyeshadow palette hard candy this hard candy look pro matte eyeshadow pro palette that's what it looks like on the back it gives you examples of looks you can try and I just I fell in love with it when I saw it online because for one thing it's ten dollars for another all the colors are matte which I like because you know I'm getting older there are no rules to makeup okay anybody that tells you otherwise if you're having fun with what you're doing do it if you like a certain look go for it but I'm getting older and my eyes, you know, like I still wear some glitter shadows on my lids, but I try to stick with matte eyeshadows. So I was super excited to find this because all these colors are matte. And you do get two brushes. I may end up using these eventually, but I have e.l.f. brushes and black radiance brushes already that I, I like to use. But they're both double-ended brushes this would be good for a liner and this would be good for crease they're they're nice brushes and they're soft so they'll be good but something that i wanted to share with you all guys that i do it's, it's like a beauty guru no-no and i'm not a beauty guru i'm just a mama that's always tried to buy affordable makeup but these are not poison okay <laughs> if you want your colors to be darker like I use this with this darker, I'm sorry for the glare. I use this with this darker like red rush shade right here. And it's a look that I have on today. A lot of people's videos that I watched about it kind of complained about it, but I really enjoy it. There's no fallout. The colors are beautiful. Getting back to talking about this being your friend, as long as you're not rubbing real rough on your eyelid, these are okay to use you guys they make the colors darker and more vibrant and when you put on a darker color you can always go back in with your brush and you know soften it up some so when you get these in your eyeshadow kits don't throw them out they're still your friend our mamas used them we can keep on using them too as long as you're not rubbing back and forth you're gonna make bad wrinkles but these are okay to use y'all so I used that with this look and I used an e.l.f. brush that I already had and I just think it's really really pretty. It's got you know one row of neutrals and then like a like crease you know and then darker to play with. So I really really like this and you know especially because it's matte. So that was ten dollars. Pick that up. Another thing from Walmart that I picked up I'm not exactly out yet, but I've been using this for years. I use a lot of CoverGirl products still. I use their press powder. I use this as a setting powder. 
It's their loose press powder, and I get the lightest shade they have, translucent fair and 105. This is my summer of trying to avoid the sun. I sit outside with my dogs, and I like to do things outside, but I try to avoid the sunshine because it's going to make us look older. And, hey, I'm trying to, you know, be preventative if it's not too late because I did tan last year. But I, I got the lightest shade that they had because I'm trying to, you know, keep my face protected from the sun and trying to, you know, continue on with my lighter shades of makeup. So I got this. This is under $6. Been using it for years, ever since high school. Love it. Love the way it smells. Sets my makeup really well. Stays in place. Of course, I have dry skin. So I guess if you had oily skin, you know, you may have more of a problem with your makeup staying in place. I picked these up, and I want to brag about these a little bit. Body Ecology. This is in the scent Sweet Love Bath Fizzies. You get eight. They're under $5. Now, they do fizz up. They're kind of small. You guys can see this is not a lush, wonderful bath bomb, but they do fizz up for maybe a minute. And it feels really relaxing, especially if you use two or three. You know, you put one behind your back, a couple behind, beside your legs. It just feels wonderful. But just using one puts all kind of oil in your bath. And it just makes my skin so soft after I use them. Let's see, it's uh, Bath Fizzies Enriched with Vitamin E. And they do, work, they do work really well. So this is a nice splurge you know, under $5, and it makes your skin really soft. I, I have dry skin, so I really enjoy using these. I may have shared this before. I'm not sure, but this is what I'm wearing today. It's CoverGirl 335 in the color Tantalize. I like it because it's a, a light mauve color. Now, I don't very seldom do squats watches swatches you guys because I record off of my phone but it's a really really pretty light mauvey color with just a little hint of like maybe purple in there I'm wearing this today over this it's LA colors matte liquid lipstick and this is in the color I gotta get my glasses you guys so I've got this on over this matte lipstick gotta brag about this lipstick a little bit Try to see what color it is. It's in the color, I want to say Perfection. Yes, it's in the color Perfection. This came from Dollar General, and I can't say enough good things about this. I like a matte lip, but I don't like how the lipstick dries out your lips because, you know, like I say, I have dry skin anyway, so... Whenever I wear a matte lipstick, I always put some gloss or another color over it to soften it up. This is, you know, an example of the color it is. It's a real pretty pink mauve color. This was $2. And it's not like other matte lipsticks that I've tried that cost more, like Revlon or Wet n Wild, you know, that cat suit. It's awesome, but it's really, really drying. Now, those don't budge. This will probably come off a little bit, but I don't mind. I can reapply, but it was $2, and it's, you know, it keeps your lips just a little bit moisturized, and an added bonus, it smells like cake, so <laughs> my lips smell like cake. It's just really awesome. I really like it. I want to go back for some more colors, so I highly, highly recommend this. Another LA Colors product. I haven't tried this yet because I'm not out of my e.l.f. yet. That's what I use on my brows. But this looks like my e.l.f. pencil that I use. It's uh, Browy Wowy Light to Medium. Because, I mean, I have dark hair. But ladies, don't paint your eyebrows black. If you don't have black hair, don't paint on black eyebrows. Okay, just don't, don't do that. Of course, there are no rules. That's just my opinion. If it makes you happy, do it. But, you know, try to stick to the color of your hair. So, this is a Browy Wowy in light to medium. It does have a spoolie on the end. I like LA Colors Cosmetics. I've used them for years, so I'm sure this will be a good product. 
And another thing that I've had for a while that I just kind of want to brag about. Now, a lot of people complain about these. I would love to have the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette, but I am not one to pay $40 plus for eyeshadow when we can get all these different things, you know, a lot cheaper. Now, this is a palette. Sorry about my phone ringing. This is a palette that I want to brag on a little bit. It's the LA Colors Matte and Brown Tweed. I haven't used it a whole, whole lot, but they're again talking about enjoying matte colors so much. This is, you know, a, a base shade. You know, this is good for your uh, crease. And then, you know, if you want to have a smoky eye. Now, they are light colors. They go on light. So, it's not going to be a dark, dark look, which is very seldom something I go for anyway, unless I know I'm going out at night. Maybe, like I think when we went to see a Star Wars movie, I had a smoky eye and just went crazy. But, you know, I like like a soft look, so you'll get that with this. And I want to say this was a dollar, maybe two dollars. So really, really affordable, works great, love it. This right here, talking about Anastasia Beverly Hills, this made me feel think of that it's broadway colors eyeshadow kit i apologize i've tore that off i've had this probably for a couple weeks i don't think i've shared it with you all it's broadway eyeshadow kit you can still get these at dollar general pretty sure they're three dollars i remember it was three but you see i've used several of the colors if you guys will compare the anastasia beverly hills palette all these colors are so similar to that. Now, these do have shimmer in them, but I just thought they were so beautiful. Like, I like this wine color. I like this gold color here. I like this bronze color. I just think it's beautiful. Been getting a lot of use out of it already on my lid. So, this is beautiful. Recommend this, too. If you shop at Dollar General, pick one of these up. Try it out. I think you'll like it. And I, you know... I was going to tell you, this is your friend, okay? Don't chunk these in the trash. This is what I used to put on all my eyeshadow. And, and you know, as long as you're not rubbing, 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 you can put this on, get a darker look, and then use your, you know, soft brush to go over it and make it a little softer. So this is your friend with all these less inexpensive, you know, with these inexpensive eyeshadows, this is your friend, okay? Don't throw it in the garbage. Um... Last couple of things I want to share with you. I have some of these on today. I like the... Gosh. My brain. I have brain fog. There are some other lashes that I buy. Salon Effects, I think. I buy some lashes at Walmart that I absolutely love. And they're really, really dramatic. So dramatic, in fact, when I wear them. I can't wear sunglasses because they hit my sunglasses. I love them. They're beautiful. They're one of my favorites. But so are these for a more natural look. Broadway Lashes. This is in this style Starlet. Really, really pretty. Really natural look. I have these on today. Try not to see all my wrinkles. But I'm wearing these today. It's a really natural look, and I just, I love eyelashes. I'm hooked on them now because you don't have to use as much mascara. And if you're just starting out, I highly recommend these because the band is thin. They're easy to apply, and I just really, really like these a lot. These are $2. Last thing I got, nail polish remover. My haul's getting kind of long, but going along with beauty things that I picked up at Dollar General, I got these boxes. These are large cardboard boxes, and I'm sharing them with you because you can put your makeup and your, you know, bath products, body sprays, whatever in these. I'm going to probably use this to give a gift in, but with love. Really large box. See the inside. This was regularly priced $5, and it was marked 40% off. And then these last three items in different sizes like I got the large one be a dreamer five dollars medium be a dreamer for three with 40% off and then this last one that says love and they're real pretty they have like a 
you know, ribbon, not ribbon, elastic latch. These would be perfect to put makeup and lipsticks in. I may end up keeping these for myself to put all these eyeshadows and stuff in that I've shared with you. That's why I'm including them in this little haul. But thank you guys for watching. I apologize that this haul is so long. I hope you've stuck through to the end of it with me. Thanks for spending time with me. God bless you guys. I love you so, so much. And I just, you know, really recommend trying out LA Colors. Don't throw away the applicator. It's your friend. Your mama used it. You can use it too. It's okay to use. Alright you guys. I love you. God bless you. I'll see you in my next one. Bye everybody.